How's it going, Savage Alive family? If you guys haven't as of yet, be sure to go ahead and check out Classic Art, the first NFT marketplace on Ethereum Classic. Well, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and check a look at what's been going on in the cryptocurrency market. Now, I know after a devastating market drop and $1 trillion crypto meltdown, the market had you all like this. My life is over. That's it. But I'm here to tell you it's going to be all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the market situation as you can see the market cap is sitting at 1.2 trillion bitcoin's dominance still at 45.8 with eth at 18.3 percent where does that leave the price point bitcoin is seeing thirty thousand six hundred dollars up five percent for the day very very juicy but if you take a look at the two percent for the week you can tell that if it wasn't for today we were down for the week but what is happening today well ladies and gentlemen it is the end of the month and options are expiring so on may 29th 160 million dollars in bitcoin longs or in bitcoin shorts have been liquidated and that's very beneficial because it goes to show that these shorters believe twenty five thousand twenty six thousand dollars were going to be the lows that we end the month at but it begs to differ because we ended the month above thirty thousand dollars so this is very beneficial for the mid to long term but if we pay attention to the crypto fear and greed index it's still at extreme fear this is a great accumulating position to be in but you have to understand exactly why so bitcoin shows signs of bottoming out after nine weeks of losses the twenty nine thousand five hundred level is acting as a major support for the world's largest cryptocurrency what does that mean in the past couple of days we have been trying to hit those levels but as soon as we do the bulls buy it up and we bounce right back up to the thirty thousand dollar consolidation of what we are currently seeing now in the past 24 hours the asian trading hours on monday in a brief show of strength amid a record losing streak Bitcoin saw a strong support at $29,000. Now, Chinese cities have started to ease up in coronavirus restrictions after months of strict lockdowns. Traders laid bets that the reopening of the economy could spark an increase in the consumer spending, which could increase company revenues in the coming weeks and could indicate a bottom for stocks in the region. That is very truthful as in china a huge influx of money has been missing out of the economy due to these huge lockdown periods that we have been seeing so a return of that money back to the cryptocurrency industry and the stock market is evidence now taking a look at ethereum as you can see participation in the ethereum network is down activity wallets are stagnant nft hype is dead with the floor price dropping for major projects and the uncertainty due to global market conditions and impending merge is what's causing the fear for Ethereum. Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum, has come out and stated that the merge could be postponed in August all the way to September, even to a far outreach of November. He doesn't know exactly what could come as bugs keep on coming out and there is billions of dollars on the line. So it is very important that they get it correct on the first time. But at this point, you can't be dependent on news articles saying that the merge is coming in August or in September because we have already pushed back that merge four separate times. So seeing as Ethereum is looking bearish, Bitcoin is looking bullish. Could this be a sign of recovery? Maybe someday. In a different sense, yes, and this is why. Here's a clip of the Web3 Foundation CEO, Bertrand Perez, of what he had to say on the matter. Uh, it's good because it's going to clear uh, the people who were there for the bad reasons. It's good also because all those uh, projects are gone, so uh, the, the le legit ones will be able to focus only on developing, on building, and forget about the valuation of the token because everyone is down. Those are the phases where real services are built, right? It's not during the bear market, the bull markets when everything is green. No one thinks about building. Everyone thinks about making fortune, which is the wrong. Uh 
That's true. As an investor, you have to know what exactly is going on in your investment in your blockchain. Who is building on Ethereum? Who, what is developing behind the scenes in Bitcoin? Who is actually using Bitcoin? That's what truly matters. And during bear market season, those developers, DeFi, banks, who want to load up on a coin those are the important factors and it seems we are seeing an increasement in all of those this bear market is a huge opportunity for you to take your time jumping in as developers are working hard behind the scenes focusing on building better and higher quality projects for the next run we are not primed to jump to the $69,000 highs we were seeing earlier in the year so don't expect it to jump in and see those returns just yet just know now is the time to be preparing for the next run in 2024. So if you are trying to rush it, if you are trying to make quick gains, there are opportunities out there for you, but you are just in a high risk territory where you can end up in another Luna situation. So if you guys enjoyed this quick little update, be sure to smash that like and subscribe. I'll be sure to catch you guys on the next one. See ya.